Hey YouTube, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and do a quick review on the Oculus Quest 2 that came out today. It was launched uh, early this morning. I went and picked mine up that I had pre-ordered um, and wanted to kind of give you a quick review when I got it home to see about the comfort levels and things that uh, some of the other reviews didn't go over. I noticed that one big thing um, that uh, no one really went over is if you wear glasses or if you kind of have a wide face like me. <laughs> so uh, having that wide face with the glasses can, I think, cause a little bit of issues. I'm waiting for the VR covers to come out. Um, there, I went to vrcover.com uh, to see when those were going to be uh, out. They're not going to be shipping out until late October is uh, what the website says. So I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of what I saw real quick. Um, this is my first YouTube video, so, uh, you know, yeah, just uh, I apologize for uh, probably bad sound, probably bad camera, probably a lot of bad stuff. Um, just like I said, kind of getting into this. I'm an old guy that likes to do different reviews. Um, I buy a lot of different products. So that's kind of what's going to be focused on my channel here. <clears throat> uh, I have an IT background. I also I love you know high-end speakers. I love sim racing. Um, I love anything tech. So that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on on this channel. So to get to it though, I wanted to, like I said, you know, kind of go over the Oculus Quest 2. So the big thing that I saw with this is the sides here. So across here, it's about five and a half inches. So if I take a pair of uh, old set of glasses that I had and I, I put those in there, they barely fit. So even with these glasses, uh, when I got the, the headset home, I put it on um, and it, it didn't feel good at all. Uh, it was very tight. This foam that they have around here is a very stiff foam. Uh, it does not give very well at all. And there's tons of nosebleed through this area. Um, so there's probably about a quarter inch gap there. Uh, I even went and got uh, the upgraded strap so you can kind of cinch it down to the back of your head and bring it in. But I still had just a horrible, probably a good quarter inch gap there. Um, so it just doesn't want to doesn't want to form to your face very well that's kind of what the thing so they do include a spacer uh, here for glasses and the problem with the spacer is is that it does bring your glasses back so you're not hitting your lenses scratching your lenses uh, for your glasses or the VR system is what you're trying to protect here um, but it still has that same curvature so the spacer goes in first and then the cover goes on second so it brings it out more but you still have this huge hugging on the side of your face here um which it, it's just very very narrow i think that's the biggest thing is that it is just so narrow so using this brings it off but in reality all you're doing is is giving yourself about another you know eighth of an inch of nosebleed um, when I put this on, I just got tons more nosebleed on it. So <clears throat> that's the big thing. Um, I'm waiting for a VR cover uh, to launch. I think they will will uh, tackle this issue. Um, I did notice that they even have a cover for the nose area on that VR cover, uh, which is going to you know encapsulate the nose, which is not going to let any light in, and you're not going to have any of that nosebleed. Um, for example, you know, just comparing this uh, to my Odyssey. Um, the Odyssey is a, a, a lot bigger headset, you know. Um, it is heavier, obviously, than the, than the Quest 2. Um, but it's just so much bigger on the inside where you can get those glasses in. Um, even this was a little uncomfortable for me. This is the Odyssey uh, 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 2 or Odyssey Plus, whatever uh, it is, uh, by Samsung. But um, I did go with the VR cover on this one. I've kind of modded it up on uh, different ways with the head strap, the VR cover, um, and I also did get the prescription lenses uh, in the inside there. 
Um, so even with glasses, with this one, before I got the prescription lens covers here, um, it, it was still kind of uncomfortable. And I do have a wider face too. So if you do have a wider face, um, it may, you know, be worth checking out that this isn't going to be super comfortable right off the bat, um, out of the box. Um, having said that, I mean, it's a nice light unit. Um, the head strap attached very easily, just like all the reviewers said, the head strap is really comfortable. I do highly recommend getting one. Um, the unboxing experience was great. Uh, everything felt good. So I'm really uh, excited to, you know, uh, hook this headset up. I've just been having it charge, um, but wanted to get it out. Uh, like I said, it's probably not a great YouTube video. Um, I'll be working on different things uh, in the future, um, but I wanted to get it out there. It is launch day. I wanted to make sure that people knew what they were getting. And that was this one thing that I didn't see in the reviews. Um, was really focusing on people with glasses. So I want to get out there. Thank you. Go ahead, like my channel. Uh, you know, hit subscribe if you uh, look forward to seeing more videos. And have a great day.